Insert an audio clip by clicking on the Add Sound button. Or you can drag and drop an audio clip from Windows Explorer. On the Object Position Settings dialog, click OK. If needed, you can trim your audio clips using the same method used to trim the video clips. The best method to use when you're trimming any audio clip, whether it is a song or a video clip with audio, the best method to use is cutting and splitting. This method allows you to listen to the clip It is a common practice in most video editors to drag the ends of clips in order to trim them. But in VSDC I don't suggest that you do that and I will demonstrate why. Currently this audio clip is approximately 2 minutes and 50 seconds long. So if I drag the end of it to trim it to approximately 21 seconds long and then go to cutting and splitting you'll notice if you zoom in on the timeline that the clip is still 2 minutes and 50 seconds long in fact here is the 21 second mark approximately so anytime you need to trim a clip, I suggest that you use one of the trim methods. So I'm going to undo that action. Place the scrubber approximately where I want the clip to end. Go to cutting and splitting and cut the end. Now I will click in a blank space of the timeline to deselect any clips, move the cursor to the beginning of the project, and preview it with the audio added. Try this on her sides, mister. In the next segment, will cover arrangement synchronizing video and audio to work well together.